One down, seven to go, and today we're going to take on Mr. Bubble Man. I bought Jonathan a toy related to Bubbles the other day. It's a little bubble chomper. You blow bubbles, and you use this thing that looks like a pink hippo to chomp on these bubbles. And it actually counts the bubbles, too. It goes from it goes all the way up to 50, actually. It's a pretty cool little toy. It's fun, and it's educational. Oh, yes, Metal Blade. Don't you ever stop a rockin' and rollin', Metal Blade. I love it. Oh, my God, yes. But yeah, I bought him this toy, and let me tell you, if you're part of the, uh, if you're part of the probably narrow sliver of my demographic that actually, yes, thank you, raises children, then, uh, I would advise you, you know, probably a good idea to just choose your children's toys for them. Man, this game is being really generous with the lies right now, and it probably needs to be if I'm gonna do stupid things like that. But yeah, I bought him this toy, and let me tell you, children in the toy store are, like, old people at the grocery store. They just get overwhelmed by choice. So, if you're a parent and you're watching this, let me advise you, just uh, do all your parent, do all your kids toy shopping for them because, you know, just force them to like something that you think they should like. That's that's been uh, your segment of terrible parenting 101 for today. But yeah, you got to be really patient to shop with a toy, shop in the toy store with a kid for a toy and blah 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 and I can't talk. Maybe I shouldn't be talking trying to go across these little platforms here. You gotta have the feather touch right here. And this is a really cheap drop right here. I'm gonna drop straight down to an enemy. So let's see if I can't immediately mitigate that. Ah, oh, no. There was no way to shoot down at all. I am not getting very rewarded for my efforts here. <laughs> I'm not getting rewarded for my metal blade use at all here. In fact, I'm probably gonna end up blowing this thing if I'm not careful, which is kind of hard to do, actually. Because if, the, if I recall correctly... The Metal Blade uses either... Wow, I forgot I was in the water and I'm jumping that high. Holy crap. Yeah, this is uh, this is definitely very ill-advised what I'm doing right here because later on we've got spikes coming up and it's about to get crazy if I start jumping in the water. And yes, you can see why the Metal Blade is such a cheap toy because... I can shoot it in eight different directions depending on what I'm holding, and I am getting very stingy weapon refills here, which isn't usually the case. You can usually just ream enemies. Like, see, I could totally farm for Metal Blade weapon energy right here, and if I waited long enough, I would totally get it too, but wow, usually you get more enemies from these little robot crawfish guys. Yeah, I could, I could sit here all day and do this, but I need to get rid of this fishy guy that's in my way. Out of my face, fishy guy. Okay, yes, 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 yes. Crawfish that home in on you. That's an excellent invention, Dr. Wily, but I think it's time to cut it out now. Okay, yes. Wow, I am doing pretty terribly, actually. Get out of my face, son. That's not how we do around here. And yes, now it's time for Attack of the Robot Jellyfish. Maybe if I'm lucky, I can get something from one of them that will help me out. Okay, that's a small boon, I suppose. Woo! You gotta be really careful. This level is all about the light touch. You don't want to jump too hard, because your gravity is way decreased in water, as you know. So, if you happen to jump into the spikes, you are screwed! Like me getting that super awesome energy refill. Thanks for nothing, game. I hate you. Forever and ever and ever. Amen. Anything nice? Anything nice coming out of the fishy mouth? Come on. Come on. Okay. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's stop dilly-dallying here. I need to get this thing out because actually my metal blade will not work on the tiny anglerfish eye of this guy. Eye of guy. There we go. All right. I managed not to get too decimated by the crawfish there. And now we're back to frogs. This is probably... This is probably where I ought to be farming right here. You know what? I'll just destroy the crap out of him. It ain't no thing. Wow. Good thing the Metal Blade energy is very hard to totally expend. Yes! Oh, that'll definitely get me through the rest of the level. Faux shiz. Alright. And luckily, the Metal Blade also works pretty well against Bubble Man himself. It should only take a few hits to kill him that way. Good lord, that was not a nice place to position that guy. I might actually end up dying against Bubble Man unless I can do some, uh... Unless I can do some pretty good farming for energy here. Okay, yeah, only drop energy on the ground where... Aww. Yeah, and if the crabs actually touch the ground, they will actually start walking. So, uh, 
I am going to actually try to go for some energy refills here before I go face Bubble Man. This is what's great about the Metal Blade. If you find a place with repeating enemies, you can just sit here all day long, la -de -da, -de da like it's nothing. Just, oh, yes! Yeah, yeah, we definitely want to get greedy for that. Now, if I can just get some energy, I can be well on my way. That ought to do it for Bubble Man. So, we are ready to face him. And we don't want to do any jumping on the way in here. I love this little fishnet background. I love what you've done with the place, Bubble Man. For underwater, you have chosen some excellent decor. But with the Metal Blade, it should only take a few hits to take this guy out. Should only take uh, eight hits. On normal mode, it would take four. But bosses generally take a lot longer to kill with items. And I can just pump him full of Metal Blades, and that's that, and a hat's a hat. So, yay! We are done with this level, and now we get to collect our item, which is the bubble lead. But don't take... But please, don't take my word for it. Alright, we get a hyphen B hyphen, which means we get equipped with bubble lead. And the bubble lead travels along the ground. It's a bubble weapon, but it's very heavy. It just kind of pops out of your arm and travels along the ground, which sounds like a load of crap, but actually very useful, particularly in the next stage that we do, which is going to be Heat Man. We're going to take out the whole left side of the grid next time.